So uh, maybe there was a conspiracy trying to stop Mr. Lobeck speaking after the uh, carefully crafted, heavy handed uh, PR stunt that uh, we were uh, exposed there to, which uh, covers the facts that uh, when people keep telling me how good something is for me, I always grab hold of my wallet. You know, my name is Martin Hyde. I, I have lived in the city for uh, over 21 years. This hearing uh, concerns the adoption of a special taxing district to pay for, uh, in part, the Bay Project under the acronym of Tax Incremental Funding, or TIF. Um, but let's call it what they say it isn't. Let's call it what it actually is, which is a TAX. Let me say first that I continue to support the vision of the Bay, turning a largely useless car park into a potentially world-class gateway to our city and a leisure destination for future generations of Sarasota residents. It's going to be good for our neighbours to the south and north of our city, as well as those west of us on the barrier islands and east of us too, not to mention millions of visitors from all over the United States and the world. During construction, though, the immediate neighbourhoods will suffer some inconveniences. Uh, once construction of phase one is complete, it's arguable that the immediate neighbours, particularly those on Boulevard of the Arts, will see an impact in terms of traffic and noise pollution that won't always be positive. Uh, those uh, close neighbours are at ground zero and unquestionably going to be compromised, for which sacrifice they've rather boodly been labelled as NIMBYs by some involved with the uh, Bay Project planning. What is particularly galling for those residents is not only are they being rudely characterised by people involved in the Bay Project, but they're being obligated to do much of the financial heavy lifting through the imposition of property taxes to the exclusion of most of the rest of the city and all of the county to the south. If you look at the shaded map of the proposed tip, it looks like a six-year-old drawing of an animal's head with its mouth open. Um, I've seen some gerrymandering in my time, and I'd love to know why some streets uh, are included and why some aren't, as well as why it runs as far east as Orange in a narrow sliver, but only to Lemon or Central in others. Perhaps Commissioner Shaw will be able to explain to residents of District 1 why some will be paying while others less than 100 yards further away won't. Perhaps Commissioner Alpert will be able to explain to the hundreds of taxpayers at Condo on the Bay why, why they should pay for a park, uh, which many are concerned about its impact on their lives, while people at the Ritz condos won't pay a nickel. They uh, might also be a tough sell for Commissioner Shaw when residents living in multi-million dollar condos uh, pay essentially nothing, while people in his district on fixed incomes have to pony up. To my mind, we've got several problems here. The first is it can't be considered fair to tax some people who live further away from the new facilities um, than uh, those that actually live closer. The second is the length of time this project is scheduled to take, which in my opinion is way too long for many of us to see to its fruition. The third is that the plans for finance were made pre-COVID, and I respectfully suggest that's changed pretty much everything financially for our city for years to come. This is still doable, but it needs to be more equitably planned in terms of who pays what. The county presently gets close to 80% of the taxes the city residents pay, and the city produces a substantially higher dollar sum per capita than the rest of the county due to more commercial property and generally higher property values. The same applies to bed taxes and sales taxes, which are generated disproportionately in the city versus the county. We have the traffic, and to a large extent, we're home to many of the things that attract people here, which means we need to get more from the county than we are under this deal. Three of you have less than 15 days left in your terms, which you already extended by 18 months. So frankly, you don't have the moral mandate to impose these outrageously unjust taxes until at least after November the 3rd. Any yes vote tonight by any commission will be seen as a tax increase on a minority of residents, whatever you want to call it, um, particularly those in District 1 and 2. Remember, famously, H.W. Bush, read my lips, no new taxes, and that cost him his re-election. To commissioners' output and sure, I'd change that. If you vote to increase taxes on your constituents tonight, to read my lips, no new term. <laughs>